Yeah, we're gonna close that. that that's gotta be closed. This is like a place where, like, this is my Afi's vibe, but Afi's gonna make it through because. Yeah. It's actually good afternoon. It's like 1.36. Happy Friday. Um, it's been a long day. Um, it's just been one of those days where like <sighs> too much is happening, too much is going on. But I have to go get my nails done. I think that's the only thing that's going to make me feel better today is if I go and just do a me care in the middle of the day <laughs> and i wanted to go to walmart and get like a work calendar for each thing that i'm doing just so i can get myself together and like you know structure my life organize my life that's what i'm gonna do um as of right now i'm just gonna go and get my nails done because i can't live like this i just can't live like this and hopefully this makes me feel better because i'm really like in a, like in a mood that i'm about to cry so yeah i know it's not something that most of y'all expect when you watch a vlog but this is this is me being you know authentic and transparent with y'all that not every day is a hey happy friday you know not every day is that there are days where you just want to be you know snuggled up inside of your blanket and not get out of bed there are days where you just want to take a shower and just stay in the shower and let the hot water run all over your body because you're not feeling you know that day and there are days where you just don't you just don't want to be bothered you know and today is one of those days where you know a lot has been this whole week this whole week has been one of those week where a lot has been happening um and my mind is trying to process certain things and I don't want to fall into that depressed mode where I usually let my mind, you know, control my entire emotion and like my body gets weighs down and I start feeling moody and don't want to be around people. So I'm going to force myself today to engage with my family engage in conversation and just go take care of myself there was a video that i was watching not too long ago i think it was this past week <laughs> not too long ago <laughs> but um he said i can't remember who it was but it was a motivational video small little reel it said i think it was kevin hart yeah regardless whether you like it or not life goes on people people got things to do so it's hard especially when you're going through something personal it's hard to be like okay try to make the best out of your day but you just have to force yourself nobody's gonna do it for you you can choose to be depressed for a whole year or you can choose to have jesus walk you through that path through that process through that trailer through that <laughs> That's, I don't know what I'm saying, but all I'm trying to say is don't let you are in control of your emotion. You are in control of how you feel. You are in control of whatever it is that's weighing you down. Don't let your problems control you because that's how you fell in life. So me personally, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, you know, try to make the best out of how I'm feeling. Go get my nails done. Hopefully I can get my toes done too. And um, yeah, and just enjoy the rest of my day. So yeah, I know that was depressing for a moment, but I promise you this vlog will get better probably tomorrow or the next day or the next day. But yeah, we're just going to go to the salon real quick. Salon. No salon. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm making sense right now, but, um, we're gonna go. 
let me open this real quick i don't want to open that because that's not the vibe and turn on my ac play some travis green and they gonna see me rolling they hating riding dirty <laughs> i'll talk to you guys whenever we get there this is like a maintenance vlog. I think I'm gonna make this a maintenance vlog because I have a lot to do. I have to do my hair, I have to pack. I, it's just going to be a maintenance vlog in my opinion. And then we're going to shift it into my work event that we're going to. We're going to a retreat if you haven't heard that yet. Going to a work retreat as much as I wanted to get out of it. I have no choice. I mean, I have a choice but we're just gonna go but um yeah let's let's go let's go mask gave me like a mm, ew but I got my nails did <laughs> I'm actually happy that she fixed it because the lady that I went to at the mall she didn't do them how I showed her like I wanted the coffin nails the one that like oh, this and the way she did them was not the way I wanted them and I didn't know that until I got home I was like these look like a regular little squares but yeah this place where my mom gets her nails done it was a lot cheaper i don't know if it's because she just you know filled them up fill them did the fillings or what but from the looks of it 35 dollars for acrylics depending on the length that's decent for me compared to 75 dollars so yeah and i like how she fixed them up so i like them the toes i don't like showing my toes but i got the color red um i should have went white but today i don't know what happened i just decided to get red after i just had red on my hands i don't know i should have did the same color on the toes and on the on the feet but i like red toenails like i think they're cute red and white toenails are like the cutest red white and pink are like my go-to colors when it comes to toenails my nails this is different i normally don't get colors like this i wanted to get the lilac purple but i know that for me personally my skin tone colors like this works a lot better so yeah this is a different color for me other than regular smuggler pink i like it and it's giving me fall vibes even though we're still in summer <laughs> 
last thing. It was only 108. Not bad for toes and nails. For manicure, pedicure, manicure. Next, I'm gonna try to get my eyebrows tinted. What do you call them things? You know what I'm talking about? The one that be like brown? Girl, you know what I'm talking about. I be feeling bougie, baby, wee oui, wee, oui, avec les sun roofy, avec moi no C. Huh? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. With the sun roofy at the East End where the bougie people are at. With the Tesla, Tesla, Porsche, Corvette, Benlet, with the Mercedes, with the Nail Five. Ah! Yeah, that's the vibe. The damage has been done, it has been done accordingly, and I am glad it's done. Ah. Y'all, I just got back from Walmart. Let me put you somewhere where I can put you down, you can relax as well. So, so I just got back from Walmart. My niece is in the other room, she's asleep. They keep so she's not gonna be that small for long. It hurts when I think about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just got back from Walmart. I'm exhausted. My head hurt. I haven't ate actual food. I've just been snacking on like the chin chin and like the African plantain chips. <sighs> yeah but yeah we got some graphic tees at walmart and i'm excited to show y'all so i'm just so lazy to like actually get up and show y'all but um i found a powerpuff girl graphic tee and it's a tie-dye graphic tee and i was like i just got to get it i just got to get it who you think you are if you don't get it i got to get it so i got this it's in a size extra large I got it in the kids, like the junior department. So the juniors department, think about the sizing. If you wear an extra large in a junior department, it's actually a medium in the adults department. It depends on how your body's built. <sighs> we thick girl. So yeah, extra large for me fit just fine. And I got this graphic tee as well. I bought a lot of graphic tee. Like I'm building my closet and we have a section in my closet where it's like, my closet is divided in categories, okay? So it's like, you got the brown and sexy. And then you have the streetwear. And then you have the casual, which is like your basic t-shirts, like white t-shirt, black t-shirts, just the basic jeans, the basic. That's the, the basic. But everything else is like, the streetwear is like the edgy, you know, the edgy, the vibes. The grown and sexy is the elegant, classy bougie ratchet <laughs> so um yeah so i got this spider-man graphic tee i thought it was pretty sweet i also got this in the kids department or the junior department you know and then i also got another one which was this one right here as well this is the I want to say, what the fuck is this? Peanuts. I think it's Charlie Brown. What the fuck is I think it's Charlie Brown. Um, but yeah, I got peanuts. Yeah. I got some anime <laughs> because I am. Anime. I was trying to make it sound cool, but it's not. But anyway, I also got this anime. This is in the men's department. This is the grown folks department. And this is a large. I'm kind of like skeptical. I don't know if it's going to fit me or not, but if it doesn't, we'll still vibe. I also got this is like a crop top, but it's not supposed to be like a crop top, but I got the extra large because. I'm not supposed to be shopping in that area, but <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Exactly. 
so yeah i got another one of the peanuts but in the back is pretty sweet it has like the whole graffiti or whatever you call this graphic in the back i thought that was cool and i also got a um hey spongebob let me see your shirt not now patrick i kind of have to get it together hey squidward want spongebob <laughs> I love myself. But I got a SpongeBob um, graphic tee as well. It says, being kind is fine. No, being kind is fun. So this is what it looks like. You know how a graphic tee looks like. I don't have to get up and show you, do I? I hope not. Please. It's been a long day, girl. And then I got this um, sleeve hoodie in the men's apartment as well. It's just like a regular smuggler, you know? I should put in the effort to show you, but it's just like a regular, it's like a tie-dye blue hoodie. I also got it in black. I don't really need to show you that because it's in black. And then I got a matching set for my um, all staff retreat that we're going to next week the beginning of the week which is monday i got the all Star retreat vibe going right now this is what i'm gonna wear on the last day um vibe with this beautiful set i'm gonna show y'all the whole entire set when i do wear it for you know the vlog and also outfit of the day type of vibe and this is the top for the set i was thinking about going neutral I thought about it. I've been watching Grownish. It's like my favorite TV show by far, one of my favorites. And every time I go shopping now, I think about what would Zoe wear? I like these. <laughs> and then for sleepwear, just for my own, you know, vibes, I got these shorts that I can't wear around the house. So I wear them in my room to go to sleep. It also comes with a nice little top, you know? If I live by myself, like I did in college, this would definitely be an everyday kind of walk around the house, chilling vibes. But since I live with my parents, I have to respect people's. But yeah, oh, and I also got another pair of sweatpants that I'm going to be wearing on my way there. Just make it dressy casual, you know? These are in the men's apartment. They're just regular smuggler. Regular smuggler. Dress pink sweatpants. I think about just doing a whole Walmart haul for basics. But yeah, that's it. Three, six, I'll talk to you later. I had a phone call. I had a phone call. I had a phone call, girl. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, and then I bought some washcloth <laughs> to wash my eyes. But, um, yeah, that's about it. And I came home. Oh, I also bought some onwear. Some onwear. I don't know if you know what onwear are. I got some onwear. And um, I wear the cotton because you need to wear cotton. I don't know if you don't wear cotton. I don't know what, what's going on with you, but you need to just saying but um from my studies and what i've learned is you need to wear cotton um if you wear like other they'd be telling on people that don't wash good down there you'd be stinking and i don't think you want that but um is he washing his dog
probably have, but I look like Ike off of Ike and Tina. You gotta go on there and sing that song the other day. Sing that song a couple more. And make me a prayer when you sing it too. I wanna hear some bass in there, more. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Ike and Tina right now. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna cut the hair into another bob. I don't know how I feel about this bob. I feel like I should have left it alone. But um, I like my hair, my chest hair. But I feel like my bobs always come up, come together after like I, you know, make it do what you do, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, once I like put like my, my makeup on and stuff like that, I feel like that's when like, I see the potential with the style. But yeah, I've had this hair for a while. It was long and then we just keep cutting. Won't keep cutting till we got no more hair. But I wanted to try this hairstyle before. Um, I wanted to try it on my, one of those synthetic wigs that I got a while ago, but I can't find that wig. And so I decided to mess up the only bob that I love. Oh man, this is crazy. It would have been good if it was like in the middle, but having it like this is also good, I think. Um, I wasn't sure if I should bop it or just bump it. Twist it. Or should I just no. happy Monday? Um it happened again. My hands are ashy. It happened again. And uh we're gonna go and get it fixed. I think I'm just gonna have them cut it short. I don't want to do that because they're going to charge me extra. So, yeah, we just want to get this fixed. And, yeah. So, what we doing today, of course, you guys already saw. It is, um, I got to fix this too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's Monday. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Affy. I love helping women develop a style that promotes their social and public image without having to break the bank. Now, the break the bank part, it might change. The more money we get, I'm sorry, fast fashion, but we're gonna move on to like the Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Vendi, Prada, Dior, Dior. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you are new, hopefully you love my vlogs. Hopefully you love me in general, and hopefully you learn something on this channel. So today's Monday, and as you can tell, sis is put together. I put myself together. Um, I cut this bob, and I don't think I like it. Yeah, I should have left it the way it was. Uh, yeah, I should have left it the way it was. I'm not a fan of this hairstyle right here, but we're going to make it work just for the three days that I have to, you know, spend at this retreat. Today we're getting ready for our all staff retreat, which is somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Pebbles, Ohio, I think. Or is it Mills, Ohio? One of those Mills, Pebbles, Ohio's. And I have a lot that I need to get done on this beautiful Monday. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna wash the car. I have to go to the beauty supply store. I gotta put gas and what else? Yeah, beauty supply store. I gotta buy my mama something at the beauty supply store too. I was gonna try to look for a different wig, but I figured let's save some money. We're not spending. Let's buy mama something so she can, you know, hold herself together while we're not here. Um, or keep herself together. Even in Ohio.
just crossing with no help in the middle of traffic. It's, yeah. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. We don't have much here, but when we do, we make the best out of it. But yeah, quick update. Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> but um i just got to the nail shop and they're about to fix this i don't know i might just have them cut them this is so ugly i don't want them sh this short but i don't want them to do the whole finger because i'm gonna run behind time so yeah we're here i washed the car um next stop after this is to get my mom lunch for work and then finish packing i just got off the phone with my director um it looks like my um digital manager she won't be able to make it for personal reasons so we're gonna be on the road with me myself and i and um yeah so let's go get our nails redid this is the ghetto the ghetto okay. Hairstyle is growing on me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. 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 I ain't
checking on you where you're at, you know? Or you just talk on the phone until you're there. I don't have that right now. Right now, I just have me and Louise from Bouye and the other favorite church choir. But, yeah. So, we've just been in tune with ourselves. I had a FaceTime call when that call dropped. So, now it's just me, you, and I, T.Y., and Mrs. Benz on the road. There's a place that's called Redneck Area. And I was like, first of all, am I going the right way? Hey, man, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Let me get on my GPS real quick because this is looking kind of... I don't know about this way. So we just made it. Um, there is no service. Your girl is choking. Listen, I love retreats and all, but next time let's just stick to hotels, bro. But this is nice. I'm gonna be positive. Like, this is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah. This is totally different than what I'm used to, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Um, the place is nice. The bathroom is nice. On where that goes to, but we not gonna try. We got that. This is nice. Um, we got the, uh, the bathroom, which I'm not gonna try. And this is the room that we're sharing. It's gonna be my director, me, and then someone else. <sighs> Jesus. I'm gonna cover this place with the blood of Jesus because only he can help me survive this two days. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch going on. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna close that. that that's gotta be closed. This is like a place where, like, this is not Affie's vibe, but Affie's gonna make it through because. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna get dressed. Well, look, my mind's already gone. I'm gonna get ready for bed because uh, that's all I'm gonna do today is go to sleep. But before we sleep, we're gonna plead the blood of Jesus in this entire the blood of Jesus. Yeah, but. I'm gonna be positive. I'm not the type to come and like not participate, depending on what it is. If it's about spiritual things, I ain't, I ain't with it. But we are going to enjoy the time that we are going to spend here. Um, my director, she went missing. She been calling me. And now she know where to be found. face wash so I have to wash my face with my body soap but first I had to wipe my makeup off really good so I won't break out um yeah I'm still trying to process this whole thing like being here with no no type of wifi I can't communicate with anyone it's a bit new to me and yeah, it's just one of those things where like I've never wanted to try and um I'm trying because I have no choice at this point. But I wash my face. Um I'm gonna go to bed. It seems like people are out there socializing. I just wanna go to sleep. This head wrap thing is a bit tight. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit tight. But yeah, um, I can't even wear this. This is wet. Oh. But yeah, this is me for the night. 
That's why we're wearing the matching set from TJ Maxx. Um, I washed it, so I was supposed to iron it so I can like loosen up a little bit, but I didn't. But yeah, and then we have the two more slippers or shoes, sandals, whatever you want to call these. I'm supposed to wear these tomorrow, but I forgot my house slippers. So the outfit I'm supposed to wear tomorrow, these shoes will be part of it. And of course my sleepwear. I mask is from Fake Hair. If you don't know Fake Hair, you're missing out. By far the best black owned business as far as um, skincare, not skincare, but hair care products and also skin products because they do make things for your skin as well as far as like satin pillow cases headband mask all the above um yeah i also have their bonnet this is not it the fake hair bonnet is definitely dirty so i couldn't bring that but yeah we're gonna go to sleep um i'm a bit anxious a bit paranoid I get paranoid whenever I'm in a place where there's no service because I watch too many horror movies so like I've seen things uh, yeah I've seen things so um yeah I'm just gonna go to sleep day one today day two day three yeah so um I'll talk to y'all later I'm going to be the party pooper and be negative. So I'm going to say I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm going to hope for the best. Hopefully tomorrow is a great day. Um, I'm going to be very open-minded about this whole retreat. Um, especially in a place where I've never been at before. It's in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't really know everyone here. Like, I know everyone here, but like... I don't really like talk to some of them. So like I'm kinda like very introverted right now. Very isolated. And hopefully at the end of this retreat, you know, I make friends. <laughs> They're cool with this, but yeah, hopefully we have fun. The girl we were saying, hopefully we have fun. Yeah. Very, very like, I feel like I'm walking into a new school and I'm the new kid. That's how I feel right now. Now it's your service. I had a service a couple minutes ago somewhere in this location area, but I can't find it anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Maybe I'll talk to you guys after this retreat is over. I don't know. But yeah. adventure of this is not Afi's vibe um, we are here in a um, retreat and I'm not used to stuff like this but I'm gonna make it my vibe um, right now we're about to go eat breakfast and um, yeah I don't know if you can hear me but this is not my vibe <laughs> listen I said I'm an adventurous person I wasn't talking about this type of adventure, you know, where there's no Wi-Fi, like no service, nothing. I'm not used to this. This is new for me. Well, it's not new because I've been to like church camp and stuff, but dang, at least church camp, I have minutes in my phone. I have no minutes in here. And it's not even one of those places where you just get up and wonder, especially if you're black, you don't want to do that. It's like a stay in the team within the bubble don't go outside the bubble and i already knew this wasn't for the blacks when i um what do you call it when i 
got here, I dropped call. Like I didn't have service. And by me not having service, I also ended up um, seeing a bunch of trumps and rebel flags, all of the above type of vibe. Um, yeah, so this wasn't for me. Um, I need to go get these pants tailored because they're they're leggings, but y'all know me. If you five three, everything has to be tailored. Unless you're like a petite size like my sister, then you definitely have to get tailored regardless. But yeah, we're going to eat breakfast. And this is part of the retreat area. This is where we're going get, to get our food. And um, I'm being adventurous right now. I'm just going to make the best out of this. Tomorrow's the last day, so we're, we're sticking it through. But when I say I'm adventurous, at least give me Wi-Fi. Come on, Verizon. Can you hear me now? No. I've heard it all. Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool. Like I should have listened when they said that you would treat me like he did. social person I'm very anti-social so it's like when I'm in groups of when I'm in a group full of people or just work in general I get very like I get the social anxiety vibe like it's just like <sighs> and I am gonna say like the first I'm gonna place you down I'm trying to place y'all down so I can like talk to you but I am gonna say like this whole thing is just, it's so new to me. Like, it's very new. I'm not used to being in a setting like this. So it's like, I'm still trying to process it. I know it's gonna take a while, but I'm very introverted to an extent. Like if it's like work related, I'm out there. 
but this is work related but i feel like it's pushing me to like get out of my vulnerability like bubble like i have to like hey how are you doing you know like talk to people i'm not used to doing that i'm just used to getting my work done and, and leaving it's very new i'm a bit kind of like Taking back a little bit. <laughs> but we're about to start. And let's just hope for the best. That that's what I was gonna say. Um the social anxiety part started to creep in when I grabbed my food and I sat down at a table and it was only me. And nobody else was sitting next to me. It was like people would come in and just sit with the people that they're used to. And it kind of like brought me back to like when I was in school where I didn't have friends. <laughs> so like lunchtime was always like one of those moments where like I freaked out because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna eat by myself. I don't have any friends. So I try to like escape lunchtime and like spend my lunch lunchtime in a restroom. I know that's weird. And that's when it brought me back to like, you know, like, Nobody was sitting next to me. And then I got a little bit emotional inside because I was like, what's wrong with me? Why am I not making friends? I'm just so hard for you to make friends. Eventually somebody did, somebody else did. And it kind of like calmed down my anxiety. You know, when I started to have a conversation with some of my coworkers, but it was just different. Like it's very new for me to like, till this day, like I try to fight that social anxiety, but I guess, I don't know, just weird, like, I kind of got my feelings a little bit, but I'm trying to be open about this whole entire trip and um, get to know people. <sighs> Wish me luck, y'all. It's so hard. Day one. Hopefully, by the end of this, things get better. So. Alright, so a little bit of the. Uh, oh, it's a ketchup. Hmm. Ketchup. Catch up. Catch up with me. Catch up with me. So, um, yeah. So, we just got back from a walk with my director. I had to change. I'm not a fan of nature, but um, it was actually great. It was great. So, I changed into these pants that I got from Walmart. It actually has a matching top. I don't want to put the matching top on because I feel like it screams a bit too much. So I dressed it down with a white t-shirt. Of course, stick with a denim jacket because it is cold in some places. And I need to take this key out because it's not cute. My earphones. Yeah, definitely that. And now we're gonna go and just chill until it's dinner time. Absolutely love this room. This area is starting to go. The Lord has saved the day. 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 Some of my co-workers and I were going to get Wendy's. Oh my gosh. If you don't know, this place is, I think they're vegan. Vegetarian or vegan? I think they're veg be They're one of them. Yeah. And I'm just happy that I don't have to force myself to eat. So all the things are given. And also brought cash. I don't know if I should buy use cash or credit card. Let's do both just in case. Actually both. So it's my wallet.
Till Friday, with my department, last day is the day, and I'm so happy to get service again. But, um, yeah, so yesterday was long. I'm gonna talk to y'all about what happened yesterday on our way back home. But as of right now, outfit of the day, we have my coach bag, which looks like this that I've been wearing this entire retreat and then we have my blazer that I came in with um this is basically a repeated outfit minus the tank top I just switched the top of the hat underneath so yeah so this is like my repeated outfit from day one I wore this banana republic blazer that I absolutely love it like it cinches the waist it just gives me that really nice chic edgy vibe and also kind of like that professional elegant vibe into streetwear if that's making sense and then i have my sweatpants that i got from walmart these are from the men's apartment and they're a size small and i absolutely love 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 these sweats and then i have my nike i think these are like my favorite shoes as far as like white edgy statement type of sneakers these are a vibe and i love that they have like the little nike chain hooked onto them it just gives it that <laughs> to just do it you know uh yeah i absolutely love these sneakers these are like my favorite sneakers besides my stan smith these are like one of those white sneakers that we call statement piece into your look so yeah and then of course i have the same earrings and um yeah this is the look for the last day vibes i was gonna wear my denim jacket with this but i feel like denim jacket would have gave it a bit too dressed down and i don't want to look too dressed down i at least want to be put together so
know. I don't like to touch my mouth on this. So it's kind of giving me the ache because I don't have a straw. I did, but a little more of a um, sustainability type of um, institution where it's like they don't like plastic anything. Um, just keep up. I don't like that, I'd be seeing plastic around, but as far as like bottles, straws, and stuff like that, they don't have them. So for me, drinking like this, I'm like, but I have to. How much you gonna do? Sadly for me, where I get my service is here. So it's like when I'm here, I'm able to receive some of my text message. I don't receive everything, but I do receive some. Um, I feel like if you have an iPhone, it's a lot easier for you to contact me. But if you have an Android, I normally receive all those text messages whenever I exit this entire area. Um, so yeah, um, today is my last day for comms and also people that are not organizers today is our last day and for those who are organizers or leaders they stay an extra day i think one of our um leaders stay until friday but the organizers leave on thursday so tomorrow is their last day but for the leaders tomorrow friday is their last day if i'm making sense so Organizers days on organizers last day is on Thursday. Leaders last day is on Friday. And people that are not organizers last day is today. So yeah. Um this is where we have our breakfast, lunch, dinner and it's it's sweet. It's a sweet area. I like it to like your service. Um yeah as far as the food. Yeah. This is my face. Okay. Yeah, as far as like the place, the place is pretty dope. Um, if you are the type of person that like quiet retreats, you wanna do a silent retreat just by yourself, or you just wanna just come and just get away from the world and the chaos that's happening. I would definitely recommend this place. It's not bad. It's pretty clean. It's pretty chill. Um, although the life bar service sucks. But if you're one of those people who, you know, you don't want people to reach you whenever you're at a retreat, come here. I think personally, I will come here with my loved ones. Um, coworkers, not really, because I can't really talk to my loved ones. But if I, if I came with like family, my husband, uh, you know, siblings, people that I talk to on the phone and, you know, see every day, if I came with them and I didn't have service, I'll be fine because I'm with those people that I, you know, stay in contact with that are important to me on a daily basis. So it wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, yeah, I actually would enjoy this if... I didn't come here for work. If I was with my family and my husband, I would have definitely vibed a lot better than how I'm vibing now. But <laughs> yeah, to each his own though. So today we have a couple of things on our agenda. I didn't really look at my agenda, but we have a couple of things going on. And yeah, we try to see if I can get Wi-Fi while I'm here. I know they don't drink juice, but what else is there? Talking, brainstorming, brainstorming, and then you have me. <laughs> so my outfit, I've changed, of course. I had a blazer on this morning, but I was feeling like, I guess it was something was, was kind of irritating the neck. 
the little collar thing was kind of irritating my neck and I figured let me not wear it today because I will get some you know rash or whatever you want to call them on the neck so I changed into the denim jacket that I wore yesterday because I thought it was the vibe so yeah we have the sweatpants from Walmart like I showed you this morning but since it was a bit dark in the morning I'm sure you didn't see we have the sweatpants from Walmart these are the sweatpants that I bought I wore on my way here like I said before I wore it on my way here of course you have the organization <sighs> tanks love it love it jacket which is a denim jeans classic of all classic um the denim jacket this is actually from the men's department and i love men's jackets i just feel like they fit me really well and this is a small so i love that for me so being a small oversized jacket it's not too oversized but it fits me well enough and i switched it up with my sandals yeah, switched on to my sandals. Wait, what? I had sneakers earlier, and I figured we're coming in and out. Something very easy. Let me just wear this. And yeah, these are just a way for me to tell you having the basic, you can wear them either way. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to dress this up, I would definitely just change the jacket, add the blazer, keep the neutral colored sweatpants and the sandals as well and yeah if I wanted to dress this down you just play with what you have and that's what I did play with what I had I need my sweatpants and then if it's neutral colors <coughs> I can switch them however way I want so that's what I did and my face is still the same the earrings are still the same but yeah this is my switch up for y'all for the the day I really do I am vibing <laughs> sis I can get service sis we can get service sis we got service I said when we gonna be free and I's free today I need to go buy a phone thing but yeah I was thinking to myself I was like when I'm watching sports or when I'm, you know, helping with the girls' basketball team, we're just, you know, watching sports in general. I've played basketball my entire life. And I always talk about talking on defense. I'm always telling people, you gotta talk on defense. You gotta let her know when she's about to pull up. And you can't you can't let her know that there's a pick coming, because when that pick comes, you don't let her know she's gonna be pissed at you. We're not letting her know that there's a pick coming. You know, talking on defense is a key to winning games. You gotta have really good communication when it comes to, you know, the defensive part of basketball. But anyways, I was thinking this myself, and I was like, where I work involves me communicating on defense. I can't be afraid to speaking and also communicating. I have to let go of that fear of being uncomfortable and enjoy being uncomfortable. Nothing happens from your comfort zone. You have to step out of your comfort zone. And my comfort zone is being quiet. I'm not good at talking in a group full of, in a room full of people, even though I talk to y'all. But y'all not necessarily in a room. This is just me, myself, and I, and my phone. So I'm able to talk however way I want. I'm able to, you know, be myself. That's what I'm saying. So when I'm in a group full of people, I tend to get inside of my little shell and I just observe more than I do, than I speak. And it gets to a point where like people say, you're very quiet. But when I'm quiet, it's me having the conversation with the group that I'm in in my head. That makes Use the sense. left lane to turn onto State Route 73. So it's, it was funny to me thinking about this, and yeah, being in the space that I was in in that retreat, I started to have conversation with people in the group, and 
and I learned that I learned that I have some dope ass ideas. Excuse my language, but I learned I have some I have some really dope ideas, and my organization they want to grow. They they want to make changes. They want to move. They want to make things pop. Miles, turn right. But the only way they can make things pop is if I you know utilize what's happening in here and I verbalize it. You know with the things that I know of social media and the creativity that can be activated on the platform for them to be popping and bring awareness to whatever is it that they're trying to do. So I also learned a lot about myself these past three days and one of them was not being afraid to speak up and also utilizing my talent just keeping everything in here so although the sis was complaining about not having service the food was a bit on the whack side for me um <laughs> i didn't eat well um i feel like i couldn't even drink water because the experience that i had with the tap water in the kitchen because where we lived of course y'all saw it it was like a studio room but we also had like a little kitchen for people to also utilize and for me I uh, I had an incident with the sink where I was trying to clean uh, the Pepsi that I spilled inside the sink and when I sprayed the little spraying part of it, a, um, the water spread on me and I smelled the water and that was the reason why I couldn't drink water like I just I had that the unfiltered filtered water. bacteria vibe the whole time I was looking at water because it was tap water so I couldn't drink water so I kind of like shoved you know soda inside of my system and my body can't take soda like that so I have some gas going on right now <laughs> but I try to survive I did but yesterday we when I say we I'm talking the color people four of us four black brown all colors <laughs> the ninjas we At the um next stop sign turn right we um yeah we went to wendy's we said we ain't eating this food no man we ain't doing that we ain't eating this food nah so uh, we looked at each other we pulled up we pulled up to wendy's we pulled up to wendy's the food wasn't that great for me to eat. It was fish, and I'm not a fan of fish. If it's not salmon, I can't eat because I just find fish very disgusting for me. Um, I can, I can, you know, grab on some, you know, grilled fish that my mama makes. But when she makes it into like the sauce vibes, I can't eat it. It's just disgusting to me. So fried fish, not grilled fish. Fried fish. I can eat fried fish that she making but it depends on the fish though the only fish you can get me to eat is salmon and of course other seafood which is shrimp and that's it and they were eating that's fish for fun. dinner all right so i'm back so this is the reason why i need to get a um what do you call it a camera but um yeah what i was saying about the wendy's yeah we we went to wendy's i was happy that we we were one sound, one band, you know? Or one band, one sound. That's my slogan. We were one band, one sound. So we decided to go to Wendy's. And I paid $15 at Wendy's. Something that I never do is pay that much for fast food. I just can't do it. But I was able to order. I think my greediness got me to order more than one thing. So I got a number seven, which was like a double burger or something like that and then my dumb self decided to order a big five bag which was a chicken sandwich and nuggets and also fries after i just ordered a whole meal so i wasted that 15 dollars because i didn't finish the fries nor did i finish my chicken sandwich which was left in the fridge god damn it yeah so that was a waste i was really upset that i wasted that money 
but now I am free today for lunch I wasn't a fan either I've learned that I'm a picky eater I am a picky eater um, when I say picky eater I'm saying like if it's not in an actual restaurant I can't eat it when I'm in a setting like this where somebody else is I know it's, it's weird you know somebody else is cooking my food same thing as you know being in a restaurant but for me I don't look at it like that I look at it as these folks are cooking my food and if I see the kitchen and I see what's going on I can't eat I don't know if I'm making sense like I'm just not a fan of eating other people's food mind you I eat at restaurants that's somebody else's food but it's like a whole different system that goes in my head like I'm not gonna come over to your house and eat your food like I just that's that's me like my mindset can't operate when it comes to eating somebody else's food like it, it's it's a process of its own um it's, it's hard for me to trust people's cooking and it's hard for me to, to eat your food it's really hard i'm a very picky eater when it comes to that aspect of my life but um yeah, I tried. I really did try. It just the look of the food wasn't exciting for me to try. I wish I had the mindset like my sister-in-law has. Have she eats everything, and I I don't eat everything. I don't eat everything. Heck, if I could make rice and beans every day, I would eat that same food every day, and I'd be tired of it. I'm one of those people. I'm very much so. I don't get tired of the same thing if I like it. I'm not gonna get tired of it. I'm gonna keep eating it. But yeah, we went to Wendy's. Lunch was terrible. Um, I wanted to go back. Oh, these rolls are kind of. My mom calls it yoga, yoga. My yoga, yoga. When is that pants down? It's about game. Yeah. So, yeah, lunch was lunch was chill. Um, I was thinking of my fries that I left in the fridge, but I also don't like to eat leftover fast food. Um, reason being is because one I didn't want to eat it because I knew I was traveling an hour and some minutes back home and I didn't want to get sick so I just left it alone I should have went back and threw it away whoa these rolls are crazy but I should have went back and threw it away but I didn't yeah yeah so what I learned during this retreat was actually more intriguing being there um, I learned a lot about my organization just you know how everyone operates I know at the beginning I talked about um, being anti well so I have I have social anxiety and I'm one of those people that you know I overthink and I don't know how to socialize with people that I don't know people that I just met let's just put it that way I'm terrible at it I get very awkward when I meet somebody for the first time or if I'm like in a large setting of people and I don't have anybody around me that I know. So for me, that's how I felt the first day. Mind you, I have talked to my coworkers before. They are some that I work with on a personal level. Um, I manage social media content for their social media page for them. So I talk to them, but I don't, they don't know me off of hey can you do this for me yeah i got you so because i'm still new to the environment they all have already built that relationship amongst each other so for me being part of that group is always i always get that anxiety i have that social anxiety of how do i act what do i say in a conversation how do i greet this person is this person going to like me i get to that point where i get in my head and I'm, I'm good at making conversations, you know, having a conversation going. It's just that process of it's okay, just go say hi. That, that always gets me worried. So the first night was tough. I almost cried because I was at a table eating breakfast and I sat there by myself. Meanwhile, people were coming in, they were picking tables behind me. And I felt some type of way because it was like, dang, like nobody wants to sit next to me. Nobody wants to, you know, engage with me. I felt like that new girl in school 
with no friends the first day of school you kind of eat lunch by yourself and you try to like run away from that by going to the bathroom that's how i was as a kid like lunch was never my favorite subject or my favorite time of the day because i always worried of who will i sit next to i was a loner okay i was a loner even though i played sports i feel like i did have a table to sit at but i was still a loner it was always like one of those processes where it was like dang like lunch is coming up who will i sit next to high school was the same way like lunch is coming up who, who will i sit next to like there was days where i i did miss lunch because of that social anxiety of who am I going to socialize with at lunchtime so that's how I felt the first day like I felt like you know it brought a huge PTSD in my my thinking I was just like dang nobody's sitting next to me for breakfast you know I'm just gonna eat breakfast and just you know act like I'm on my phone or doing well I'm not on my phone I don't have service but we're gonna utilize our phone which actually <laughs> got me to plan content for YouTube because I didn't have nobody to sit with so I had to find something to do so I actually jotted some content down for YouTube and videos to create um, once I get home so it had its benefits but yeah and then later on I had some of my supervisors and um, the ops team operation team HR sit next to me and uh, we had a conversation going and then somebody else came and sat next to them and it was a little bit more relaxed than you know having like six people at one table and the table next that you're sitting at is fully empty seated fully seated <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but it was just it was like a you know because the table behind me had like six people already and I was just there with an empty table you know it was like they were already in their little link group I didn't have a group you know so yeah it was it was nice but I did notice that in order for me to no longer feel that way I have to build a relationship with the organization and my leaders the organization in general like organizers and also leaders I have to build a relationship with them so that they know who I am and what I'm about and I just that girl that comes and sits by herself and don't I don't know where it cut off because it cut off on me for no reason but like I was saying I have to build I, I learned that in order for me to no longer feel that way I have to build relationship with um, my organizers and also leaders you know I have to want this to no longer happen for me personally um, I have to want this no longer happen but yeah it was a really good um retreat like I actually when I think about it yes I had my pros and cons a lot of of it was me complaining about not having service but when I actually sit and actually reflect on the overall like the the excitement I'm trying to look at myself and just see because like my phone I think it's getting hot yeah I think it's getting hot so I gotta get off but when I think about the whole you know the whole time that I spent there I'm pulling a lot of positives out of it what I learned and also my behavior on how I can better myself in the next retreat you know so yeah I give myself roses for that like I did enjoy it I did I actually enjoyed it a lot if the food was better I would have probably would have been like yes one more day if the service was even better I would have probably been like yes two more days and then take me home I'm not spending the whole weekend there. I'm gonna stay until Friday then, I, then I'm dipping but um yeah it was it was chill it was nice so yeah, so I'm gonna stop. Um, at, I'm gonna grab something to eat with a good friend of mine, and then go home. Cause that's just what we do. So yeah, I talked to y'all long enough. I think my phone is getting hot because of the sun. God dang it! iPhones! Ah! But yeah, my iPhone is getting hot, and uh, I 
I needed to work for this cheese again because I need to get home. <laughs> so I will talk to y'all whenever I get home and probably talk to you the next day. Ooh, and I also kind of, you know, Hairstyle, I've been thinking curly and 